An electric charge creates an electric field in the space around it. It also creates a related quantity we shall call an electric potential. This tutorial seeks to explain the concept of the electric potential. It's Kisembo Academy and thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to describe what we exactly mean when we say electric potential. In this diagram, we have a test charge. We have a charge Q, which is positively charged. We are also having um, a test charge. This is in its initial position here. This is a charge Q. Now, initially, this charge was here. This is the initial position of our test charge, which is positively charged. And this charge is within the electric field of this charge, the big one. So this charge Q was moved from this point to that point. Now, if this charge is positively charged, and this charge Q is also positively charged, it means that bringing this, these two charges, it means will be repelling each other. This will be repelling this charge because this is positive and that is positive. Meaning for us to be able to move this test charge from this point to that point, it would mean that we will have to do work against this charge because we are working against the repulsive forces of these charges. So it means that work has to be done against, work has to be done for us to move this test charge from here to there because these two are the same charge because of the repulsive forces. So in this case, if work, in, if work done in moving this test charge, this test charge we are talking about, which is this. If work done in moving this test charge Q from infinity to some point P near Q is W, then it means that the potential of point Q is given by work done per unit charge. For us to get the potential of this thing at that point, it's going to be that work done per unit charge which is the potential V. And the SI unit for potential is coming from the formula work done per unit charge. Work is in joules and Q is in coulombs. So it means that the, the SI unit is going to be joules per coulomb, which is equivalent to one volt. So to describe what exactly electric potential is from that background, we shall say that the electric potential at a point in an electric field is simply defined as numerically the work done in bringing a positive charge of one coulomb from infinity to that point and the unit is the volt. So let's look at the electric potential due to a point charge. Here we are having charge at x not we have x not charge at a we have charge at x1 at b and these two a and b are separated by distance x and of course, the force is in that direction because they are repelling each other. Now the point charge at A, which is this one, which is Q, is exerting a repulsive force on charge B. That is charge B. And that is why that arrow is pointing in that direction. Because they are both positive, this charge B is being repelled in that direction, in the opposite direction. So meaning the repulsive force that exists between this charge and that charge is going to be equal to the repulsive force is going to be directly proportional to the product of those two charges and inversely proportional to the square of their separation, which is x. So the repulsive force is going to be equal to that. And so we are going to use this to derive the formula for electric potential due to a point charge. If the charge at B has been is going to be moved towards A by a very small distance, we shall call dx a very small distance. It means that the work done, the small change in work done is going to be force times the small change in distance. If charge at B is moved by some external agent by small distance, we are going to call dx towards A, where that small distance it has been moved is so small, if considered constant, then the work by, done by the external agent will be given by that. The change in work, the work is going to be, you know that work is got force times distance. So the work is going to be equal to force times distance. Now, if you have to look at these two point charges, this is positive and that is positive. So this charge is exerting a repulsive force. So it is pushing this thing away. But our external agent is pushing this charge in the opposite direction to the repulsive force. That is why we are having a minus sign here. It simply signifies that. So meaning the work done is going to be equal to we substitute for the value of F, 
So our force is going to be from Coulomb's law, which is Q0 times Q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught x squared times the small element in the distance moved towards the charge. So it means for us to find the work done from zero to the actual work is going to be, we are going to integrate on both sides. It's going to be equal to work done in moving that charge from infinity to a point R. So it means we are going to integrate this expression with respect to x. So integrating this side will leave us with work is going to be equal to. Now if you look at this expression, q0 times q1, this is the charge of uh, the, the, the charge the charge at a, this is the charge at b, these are both constant terms. 4 pi epsilon not all these are constant, so we shall put them outside the integral sign and we shall only integrate x squared 1 over x squared. To, with respect to x so when we integrate this 1 over x squared is the same as x to the power negative 2 we are integrating with respect to that so from our rules of integration integrating this is going to be we, we add 1 to the power and divide through by the new power which is negative 2 plus 1 and this is running from infinity to that point R. So we'll end up with negative, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then negative 2 plus 1 down here is negative 1. So we shall end up with negative x to the power negative 1. So now we, we substitute in for R here. This negative x to the power negative 1 is the same as negative 1 over x. We substitute in our limits of integration. It's going to be 1 over R. We get that from here. Minus. We substitute for infinity there, negative 1 over infinity. So from here we'll end up with this expression, we'll end up with negative 1 over r. So this negative and that negative, multiplying these two will give us a positive. So we shall end up with our expression for work as work is going to be equal to q0 q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times r. In this regard therefore, the definition of potential v at a distance r from a point charge q in a medium of permittivity, a missile of naught is given by that. We have got our expression for work which is q naught times q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught from our derivation. And we are asking ourselves that now from this, how do we come to that? Our v is going to be, it's our potential, remember from our previous explanation was, it is going to be the work per unit charge. And in this case, we are looking at charge q1. So it's going to be work, divide that by Q1. But what is work? Work is what we had. This is what we've gotten here. So work is Q0 times Q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Divide that by Q1, which is the Q1 we have there. So it means that this Q1 and that Q1 are simply going to cancel out. And then we shall exp remain with our expression. V is going to be Q0 over 4 pi epsilon naught times R. This is our expression for the point charge or the potential of a point charge in field and that is how we come to this and that is how we conclude by saying that therefore the definition of potential v at a distance r from a point charge q is a measure in a medium of permittivity epsilon naught is given by that expression i would encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you want more of these videos and for the benefit of your colleagues out there that would like to watch this tutorial simply share this video otherwise thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next video for example academy this is an old ranga kurami